For this lesson, we're going to take a look at different ways that we can add revisions to a sheet. But first, before we do that, we need to go ahead and create a revision schedule. The revision schedule is going to be part of our title block family. And there's a nice box here for it that we can use. So I'm going to select the family, hit Edit Family. And from here, we're going to create the revision schedule. From the View tab, I'll go to Revision Schedule. And it's going to ask me the different fields that I want. I'm looking for number, description, and date. So I'm going to take the sequence out, and we won't show that. I want to make sure this sorts properly, so I'm going to sort by number. And then on appearance, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I change the height from variable to user defined. And the other thing I like to do is just take off the title because I don't need it to say, you know, revision schedule or anything like that. And I'll hit OK. Now I can go in and I can adjust the titles to match the way I want it to look. So number, description, and date. And now this is ready to be put on a sheet. So I'm going to close that. And I'm going to go into my schedules. I'll grab the one that I just created and drag it in. And the trick here is we want to just make sure we get it kind of within the wider lines of the title block. And I don't need this much space for the number because that's typically just, you know, one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, D. But I do want a little bit more room for description, so I'll move that across. And then I'll use the rest to fill up for date so that we don't return to the next line with date. And this isn't an exact science, but we just want to get it as close as we can. And it's pretty important because this is going to show up on every single one of our sheets. So you can zoom in and use the directional pad to kind of locate this a little bit tighter if you want. And then the next step is we can go in and if I select the revision schedule, you can see here that there's a control on the bottom. And as I drag that down, it'll allow me to add more lines to kind of fill in this box. Now I can go ahead and load this into my project. And I'm going to overwrite the existing version. And there's my revision schedule. Now to add a revision on a sheet, there's two different ways we can do this. I look at it as there's either a revision to the content on the sheet or that it's part of an issuance. So if it's part of an issuance, what we can do is if we go to our View tab, there's a revision section here. And if there's already one there, we can use that. Like here, we've got the plan check submittal. And I can add another one. And I can give it a date as well. And I'll just call it revision 1. And I can change my numbering from numeric to alphanumeric if I want. And we have two options. We can do per sheet or per project. We're going to stick with per sheet on this one. And I'll hit OK. And to apply those revisions, there's two things that we can do here. The first one is within the sheet properties. We have an option here for revision on sheet if I click Edit. We have the two different revisions that we've we've added. And so I can go ahead and where it says plan check submittal, I can just check to show revision on sheet. And now that becomes part of our revision schedule. If you look at our other sheet, notice it's not there. Now, if I wanted to add revision one to this sheet, I can go to my Annotate tab, and I can add a revision cloud. Now, with the revision cloud, I have the option to use the revision that I want, either plan check submittal or revision 1. I'm going to stick with revision 1, and I'll just use the rectangle tool to draw a revision around the stair here and finish the sketch. Now, because I added this cloud to the sheet, it's going to show up in the revision block. To complete this, 
I'm going to want to tag that cloud. So I'll go to tag by category. And I'll pick on the cloud. If there isn't a cloud loaded, like I have a case here, we'll go ahead and load one. And I'll load this from our Imperial library. And I'll just add this revision tag to the project. And then you can see here, because that revision is number A on the sheet, it's going to show up as an A here and here. This information can also be displayed in a sheet index. To create a sheet index, we go to View, Schedules, Sheet List, and then we pick the parameters just like any other schedule that we want to show here. We'll keep it pretty simple for this one. So we're going to go with Sheet Number, Sheet Name. We'll go with the Current Revision. and current revision description. And we might as well add the date as well. Just like all our other schedules, we want to make sure the sorting is correct. Sorting by sheet number is pretty common, so we're going to go with that one. And I'll hit OK. You can see here that the current revisions are shown in our sheet list. To close this out, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw that on one of our sheets to see what it looks like. I'm just going to spread out some of these columns here so that we have them all on one row. And now we have a sheet list that also shows the current revision and date.